all right welcome back so uh pretty good little video i got for you guys i'm going to show whoever wants to know how to build rebuild one of these Ha! Eh, just got the kid in i'm sitting there looking over there it's right there uh i got the kid in to do the rebuild on this so let's have some fun Something that I failed to record here was me taking this stuff off because I don't know, I gotta locate it. <clears throat> this um I got gas. <laughs> I dropped stuff. Uh sorry if the camera's a little shaky, I'm kind of just like leaning on the table here. Uh this bracket's a little wonky to get off. Um so like this kit, you it comes with new new rubber pieces and what have you so and we're gonna clean this up and I'm gonna try to not lean on this table as much as possible so we're gonna clean this up and I might do some polishing more well, likely I will um, I have an example here of my polish work so um, it's not as hard as you think. It, it's really not. I mean, cleaning the heck out of this thing. Yeah, I kind of started on this. Um, so, basically, what you're going to do is get some pliers, pull these pistons out. You know, this has got sludge. You want to be able to stop, <laughs> especially on a motorcycle. <laughs> Very important that we stop. Oh shit! Ooh! Now you see why. Look at that diarrhea. I don't know if you can see. That's a. This right here is a big clump of freaking shit. <laughs> so we also need to get this off. The magic of editing. <laughs> and I can tell you this is no good. That kind of stuff right there is a good way not to stop. This pull it out from the back. You got a notch right here, pull it out from the back. It's going to be easier coming out than going in. Four one. So you got um four O-rings in here. You got a thick one and a thin one. The thicker one's up towards the front. So you want to get these out. I'm, I'm sorry. I meant the thicker ones towards the back. My bad. See? You can't listen to everything I say. And you got a thinner one here. So, you want to get those out. Those come with your kit. So, matter of fact, I don't even know why I went from the back to front. That's kind of stupid to dare. Stupid to dare. Stupid. Stupidity. Stupider. Stupidish. Is that a word? I don't think so, but it is. Dang. Now the fun part is I'm going to hang this sucker over the uh, a box or something and spray all this sludge out because we want this thing to be squeaky clean and we're going to clean these pistons up too. You can now you can get these. Uh, mine are in, I mean they're in pretty good shape. I don't know why you would need to necessarily replace these unless they were had a lot of, you know, burrs in them or, you know, they were pitted or something like that, but I wouldn't think that would happen, but you can, I mean, it's up to you, man. And make sure you get yourself some uh, good old-fashioned rags. We just want to wipe all this stuff out and uh, make sure those cylinders here are extra clean 
We don't want to have any debris left, which there's plenty in here. So we'll probably get down here in the wire brush. Wow, this is wiping off on these. And I have a little bit of secret powers here. So I got a little gasoline in this. I'm just going to kind of roll it around in here. Oh, keep these things good and clean. So we get down in here. All these little areas here. So we can break down the grit that's all the way down there. So what I'll do with this stuff, I'll just kind of dab it and kind of rub it on in wherever you want. And uh, you can also use mothers. I've been using that. That does pretty good too. All right. So now we start the rebuild process here. All right. So now we do the rebuild process. So we'll reset the front of this. Yeah, I'll just slide on where it's supposed to go. Okay. There you go. My advice to, the, to doing this part, though, is put some grease on the base of where it's going to go and not the rubber part because it's going to be all slippery. And a pain in the ass. Put new seals in here. Also, if you're having trouble with getting these in, what I recommend doing is taking down, go down and hold one in. Oh, let's see if I can get this. Find out what the groove is. Where is the groove? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you find the groove and hold that one piece in with your finger and push the other ends in. And I'll just pop in like that. All those are in. Now, I clean these. See? I'll clean all those up. That's why I don't, you know, they're, they're not perfect, but. They're pretty, pretty darn clean. Pretty greased up pretty good. Try again here. There it goes. Let's take those and push them all the way in. Just like that. Alright, so now I'm gonna put everything back together. I put a little bit of grease on that. It's got new ends. That's a new end. I just clean all of this up. Okay, so in this part, my audio cut out. So I'm basically just tightening up the bolts here. Uh, greasing up everything and putting the uh, bracket back on the caliber. Pretty easy stuff. Um, 
make sure you use plenty of grease because it helps you because the brand new rubbers are pretty dry. And that's pretty much it. I um, would recommend when you slide those on, push them all the way in and then pull them out because it helps seat it and set the rubbers outwards. And that's what I'm showing right here. You know, push them in, pull them out. That way they're not folded inside out. And that's pretty much all I got for y'all. Appreciate you watching. Like, share, subscribe. Broken Clutch.